Hey all, welcome back to our channel. It's Christmas time and we have come today with a classic Christmas tale. If you are not subscribed to our channel yet, please do subscribe. Little Pekala, the Lost Christmas Classic by Celia Thaxter, adapted into a story in 1914 by Francis Jenkins Alcott. In the sunny land of France, there lived many years ago a sweet little girl named Piccola. Her father had died when she was a baby and she had no siblings to play with. She and her mother lived all alone in an old house. They were very poor and her mother had to work hard all day in the fields for a few sous. So little Piccola was all alone for a great deal of time. And if she had not been a very happy and contented little child, I hardly know what she would have done. She was often hungry and cold, but she was never sad nor lonely. She had no playthings except for a heap of stones in the backyard that she used for building houses and a very old, very rag doll that her mother had found in the street one day. What if there were no children for her to play with? What if she did not have fine clothes and beautiful toys? In the summers, there were always the birds in the forest and the flowers in the fields and meadows. The birds sang so sweetly and the flowers were so bright and pretty. In the winters, when the ground was covered with snow, Piccola helped her mother knit long stockings of wool. The snowbirds had to be fed with crumbs, if she could find any. And then it was Christmas time. But this year, her mother was ill and she could not earn any money. Piccola worked hard all the day long and she sold the stockings which she had knit, even when her own little bare feet were blue with the cold. As Christmas Day drew near, she said to her mother, I wonder what the good Saint Nicholas will bring me this year. I cannot hang my stocking in the fireplace, but I shall put my wooden shoes on the hearth for him. He will not forget me, I am sure. Saying so, before her mother could say anything, Pikala went and kept her wooden shoes on the hearth for Saint Nicholas. Do not think of it this year, my dear child, replied her mother. We must be glad if we have bread enough to eat. But Piccola could not believe that the good saint would forget her. On Christmas Eve, she put her little wooden pattern on the hearth before the fire and went to sleep to dream of Saint Nicholas. As the poor mother looked at the little shoe, she thought how unhappy her dear child would be to find it empty in the morning and wished that she had something even if it were only a tiny cake for a Christmas gift. There was nothing in the house but a few sous and these must be saved to buy bread. When the morning dawned, Piccola awoke and ran to her shoe. Saint Nicholas had come in the night. He had not forgotten the little child who had thought of him with such faith. See what he had brought her. It lay in the wooden pattern, looking up at her with bright eyes and chirping contentedly as she stroked its soft feathers. A little swallow, cold and hungry, had flown into the chimney and down to the room and had crept into the shoe for warmth. 
Pikala danced for joy and clasped the shivering swallow to her chest. She ran to her mother's bedside. Look, look, she cried. A Christmas gift, a gift from the good Saint Nicholas. And she danced again in happiness. Then she fed and warmed the bird and cared for it tenderly all winter long, teaching it to take crumbs from her hand and her lips and to sit on her shoulder while she worked. In the spring, she opened the window for it to fly away, but it lived in the woods nearby all summer long and came often in the early mornings to sing its sweetest songs at her door. And little Pikala, her mother and the beautiful swallow lived happily ever after. Moral of the story Try to be happy and contented with simple things in life. If we wish for something wholeheartedly, we will surely get it sooner or later. I hope you all enjoyed the story and understood who Saint Nicholas is. Please do give it a thumbs up and share your comments with us. We wish you all a very happy Christmas. Enjoy with your loved ones and take care.